so I would like to introduce you uh, Ian. Hey, I know something here. Hello, how are you? So I am uh, the global ambassador for Rum, uh, which means I get to travel around the world, work with some amazing rum brands, one of the rum brands here. Uh, you pay. <laughs> That's what I do. Great job. Yeah, it's a great job. Great job. You get to travel to amazing places like uh, like Prague, even though it's not sunny today, but you get to go to good places. And you. Yes, it was your first rum. It's my first rum, the first rum um, that I've actually been involved with, I, that I put my name to. Um, so yeah, it was um, an, uh, an amazing experience for me. It's an amazing project. Um, hopefully you enjoy the taste of this rum uh, as well, like everyone else. And it, yeah, it's a rum that um, is made for drinking. Uh, yes. So you can sip it, mix it in a cocktail, uh, you can have it on the rock, so it's made for drinking. So we don't want people to leave it on the show. I see, I understand. Uh, uh, I'm making a round with Richard's here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you can have to go. Hey, Richard, I, I, can we make round together? Exactly, that's it's how it is. All? That's it. I'm very lucky that because of, um, of what I do, uh, quite a few rum companies have respect for what I say and uh, how I talk about rum. Richard is a good friend, um, and as we know, Richard makes some of the best rums in the world, as we know with the four squares and all of these, absolute belly collaborations. So when I propose this offer to Richard, where we're going to get rum from Africa, send to the four square in Barbados, to the blend and create a new rum, Richard said, yeah, let's do it. Like, it's easy. So, do you think it's the first appropriate beer in the Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've drunk and tasted a lot of rums before, but I don't know any rums that come from the Amazon continent. Blended with Caribbean rums. And as we know, with rums uh, that are blended, a lot of rums are blended from one single distillery, like a single blend. So it might be a part of the column, it might be different parts of one distillery. Or they may be blends of um, countries within one region. So it may be like the old Navy rums, like sent to England, and then blend to Jamaica or Barbados. So, and those are also, no one's ever got rums from, say, Africa, and then take it to the Caribbean. Together. So this is the yeah, first. Yeah, first yeah, yeah. So if Richard is involved, I presume you should do other things. You are, you presume right. <laughs> yeah. If I said to Richard, Richard, let's put a bit of sugar in there, Richard would slap me in my face. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he would stand on a stool because he's very short. Yeah. 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 I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Now Richard would slap me though. So there's no sugar added to this rum, no additives, um, no flavorants, no spices, it is all natural. All the flavor is coming from cognac glass. Mauritius and the American oak glass from Barbados. That's where the flavor is coming from. Uh, and uh, is it aged somehow or is it uh, just? Yes, so, so, the, so the rum from Mauritius has been aged for a minimum of 10 years. In once used limousine oak, in once used cognac glass, which is limousine oak uh, from, from France. Yeah. Um, so that 10 year old rum, and it's minimum of 10, so there's some rums in there like 11, 12 years old, that gets sent to Barbados. And then what Richard Seal does, he blends in 8 year old rum from Barbados, properly aged as well. So as we know, rums in Barbados age, spirits in Barbados age a lot quicker than say spirits in cooler climates. Um, so you blend those two rubs together to come out with the final product. Yeah. And uh, uh, blending was in uh, uh, Barbados? Yes, blending yes. in Barbados, bottling in Barbados. It's an important part of our identity, it's an important part of our story. Um, a louder at the honor. Yeah. Uh, uh, Equiano uh, was an African slave uh, that was sent to Barbados. Um, so our rum goes from Africa to Barbados, and then it was um, then he was sold uh, to America and to the UK. So this is the reason why what we do. Oh, that's for the prize. This is this is the prize for you guys. A signed bottle. Okay, okay. So the, the prize for the competition. Yes, we have set uh, signature bottle. Yes, yeah, exactly. and. So it is nice, and uh, where we can uh, buy it? Is it possible to check a rubber? Yes, it's possible to check a rubber. Okay. So you can get it from UPB, uh, or Warehouse. Warehouse One. Uh, warehouse is uh, warehouse, you know, one of the best shops in Europe, but also one of the best shops in Czech Republic. So you can buy it from Warehouse One online there. Um, distribute it if you're a bar or a restaurant through UPB. Um, yeah, and, uh, I'm so happy because I always say, and, and, it's, and it's so, Czech Republic is uh, the, the, the central European capital of Rome. Uh, as such, you are, so, as you are not here for the first time in Czech Republic. No, I've been here many times. Yeah, <laughs> you like a, lot it of, here. a lot of good rum and a lot of good beer, and my duck and cabbage. I love duck, cabbage, and dumplings. Uh, a nice set of rum and beer.
And so something about a cute plan to make something Correct. like yes. if we are not two or something yes. like this. Yes. Yes. So this is a uh, batch number one. So this is the first batch. We will have similar rum with batch number two, and that will be our main Equiano as we go. But the next uh, Equiano we're going to do is our light Equiano. It's really made for bartenders, cocktail uh, makers, and mixologists as such. And it's going to be a blend of molasses and fresh cane juice from Barbados and Mauritius. So it's going to be a new blend, uh, light, minimum age of about three years old. Um, that's such so, so, sorry, no, not being a maximum age of three years old, so I'm not getting it right. So we like a straw, light brown color, but still a light rock. So that's a new, um, that's a new one we're going to make. And then in the future, we're going to make some really high-end expressions to make those limited age statements, limited, limited editions. Uh, we have access to 70,000 barrels of rum in both that and precious. So I'm going to look for some really good parts. We do some limited single edition bottles. So which we have we may in the future do some blends of rums where it may be Barbados, Jamaica, and Mauritius. Or it might be South Africa and Barbados. So we're always going to do the African and Caribbean. So we're going to get the best of each area. But Barbados is going to be an important part, and it'll always be a Barbados specific people. So you said in future you prepare something for Barbados. Yeah. Who is it for? So this, uh, so where we are now, we really want anyone enjoy spirits. Anyone enjoy spirits, not just rum, but spirits. We want whiskey drinkers, tequila drinkers, maybe even vodka drinkers. No, no, no. We want people to enjoy age spirits to really sip, uh, drink, uh, savor this particular product. So that's why it's created the way that it wasn't too much burn, it wasn't too much kick. It's a lot of flavor that you can deliver inside a glass and you can drink. It's a little twig in my drink. Uh, you can drink on a regular basis. Um, what I like to call this is a session rum, which means in one session, your friend, you finish whole bottle of yeah, yeah, yeah. and you feel good the next day. So that's what we like. That, that's how I see it. Sounds so amazing. So, thank you, thank you very much for your time. And if you have any message for uh, Czech rum lovers, it's your time. You can, you can give the message. For Czech rum lovers, make sure you get your hands on a bottle of Equiano. It is uh, my little baby, new rum from the Global Fast. From working with some amazing uh, people like uh, Richard Seal uh, from Barbados, of course. Awesome. So get to try this. I say drink it, rum. You can drink it any way you want. Sip it on the rocks, twist of orange in a cocktail, whatever you want. You want to get it? Warehouse One is where you get it from. UPB, if you're a bartender and you're a bar, they will distribute it to you. But hey, listen, I don't need to tell you about how great rum is. You know how great rum is. And also remember, the best rum in the world is the one in your glass. Cheers. Oh, no, <laughs>